So today we've been given the news that Belgian and Dutch aircraft are going to be coming to War Thunder as part of a new subtree, the Benelux or Benelou subtree, which as the name suggests compromises Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg. Uh, Luxembourg doesn't have any military aircraft so they're not represented but Belgium and the Netherlands are. So we're going to be getting a good mix of Belgian and Dutch aircraft. And I'm already much happier about this subtree than the previous Hungarian one because there are actual unique vehicles in this subtree. So we start off with Belgium and most of this is copy paste and this is where the most of the vehicles are. So we've got the British Gladiator Mark 1, the Spitfire FR Mark 14E and the Meteor Mark 8. And then you've got some American aircraft for the later tiers in the form of the F-104G, F-16A Block 15 and F-16AM Block 15 MLU. And they'll also be getting the Mirage 5BA which was a variant of the Mirage that was specifically designed for Belgium. So I do consider that a unique aircraft and it's good that, you know, Belgium will be getting that. Uh, there is also mention that Belgium will be using the brand new F-35, so maybe that's a hint for a future aircraft. However, they could have also got a few more unique aircraft, such as the Renard R-36 fighter and the Le Cab GR-8 Dory 4 bomber. Uh, they were both prototypes, only one was built, but I think they both would have made the tech tree a lot more unique. I'm also kind of surprised we're not getting the Hurricane Mark 1 because that was actually produced in Belgium. Only a few were made before the invasion. But I feel like that, you know, as they were actually produced in Belgium, that would have been a good aircraft to introduce to the Belgian side of the tech tree. And of course, we've also got the Dutch aircraft. And unfortunately, there aren't as many aircraft here. So we've got the British Firefly FR Mark 4 and the Hunter F6. But we have also got a domestically produced aircraft in the Fokker G1A. So this is a twin prop aircraft. It's got eight 7.9 millimeter machine guns in the nose. So that's going to be quite a deadly aircraft in the game. And I think that would be quite a popular aircraft for people to use. And again, like with the Belgian part of the subtree, we could have got far more unique aircraft. In fact, one of these is already in the game in the form of the Fokker D-21, which was the main Dutch fighter. That's actually in the game in two variants. The regular 21 variant is a premium aircraft in the Swedish tech tree. And then you've got the D21-3, which is a aircraft in the Finnish subtree because it was used by Finland. And it would have been very easy to just bring along the D21 to the Dutch part of the subtree. But unfortunately, in the Swedish tech tree, it's a premium aircraft. So I don't think Gaijin were ever going to do that, unfortunately. But we could have also got the D23, which again was a prototype aircraft, but it's very unique looking. It's got a pusher and puller prop. It was armed with a few machine guns, so I'm not sure if these were ever fitted to the aircraft, so I can sort of understand why they wouldn't add that. But we could have also got the Fokker T9 and Fokker T5 bombers. Again, would have made the tech tree just a little bit more unique. And then lastly, we could have got the Fokker T8 float plane. Again, would have been a good unique addition to the subtree. And so, yeah, my overall thoughts, I'm much happier th about this subtree than the Hungarian one because there are actual unique vehicles. And hopefully we will see some of those more unique variants, those domestically designed and produced variants in the future. I'm hoping this will be a good springboard for those to be introduced to the game. And it does help to spice up the French tech tree a little bit. Not exactly the largest tech tree in the game, so like I say, welcome addition to the French tech tree and hopefully we'll get some more unique aircraft in the future. Anyway, just a quick episode looking at the Benelou subtree. Hopefully you'll join me for the next dev blog. I've been Toreno and I'll see you next time.